explain, if you will, the satisfaction you get from uh, doing the court interpreting as, a, as an ASL interpreter um, in the court system or uh, in any situation? Just that I've provided equal access of communication um, for that deaf person with the hearing individual. And um, what might some of the challenges be that you face as a, as a legal interpreter? Are there cha special challenges? I've, had, I've run into situations where the deaf person was not able to understand why they were arrested, why they were before a judge. Um, they could not okay. fully participate in their defense. So um, challenges as far as um, communicating. Okay. Um, I had to bring in the I had to bring in a deaf interpreter um, to help with that. Mm -hmm. That when when that happens, then the process really slows down and it takes a lot of time. Tell me about this new uh, bench card that you have uh, written for the state judges and the federal judge, or state judges and on the national website for judges to use. It's the bench card was written as a primarily as a tool um, for judges to use um, to work with sign language interpreters, and when they are confronted with a deaf or hard of hearing person. Um, many judges, because they are not used to working with sign language interpreters or having a deaf person there, they don't know where to find a sign language interpreter, um, the process of what is required of us, and that type of information. So the card is just written for them to be used as a tool this is some basic things of what you do. This is some basic information. This is where you can find a sign language interpreter. Um, okay. and just, just a useful tool for them. And how long have you been interpreting in the courts? I've been interpreting in the courts since 2000. Since 2000. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And uh, you cover Etzel, East Texas Council for Independent Living covers a 23 county area. Yes, we cover 23 counties.